Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'll show you how you can do 27 Ults of Infusion in time. If you ever had a problem in this dungeon, you came to the right place. This is gonna be a fast forward guide, if you like it, remember to subscribe to my channel and let's get this show on the way. On all pulls till the first boss, there is a few important rules you have to follow. The containment apparatus and Refty Defenders are the mobs you should focus. The apparatus expulse cost must be stopped and if you get targeted by containment, you can remove it with freedom and such. Be aware that it does a lot of damage. Make sure to stop the Refty Defender demoralizing shout cast to prevent reduced damage done on the group. Other than that, don't be in front of the mobs so you don't get cleave and of course move from the jumping guys. One important note is to use defensive as needed cause the party will take a lot of damage. I'll jump right into the first boss intermission. Make sure you place the heads under the boss to break his shield. When the boss casts power overload, the two players who get the debuff should be standing on each other to drop the pulls and then move to the other side. You can get mass dispel if you have a priest. Other than that, you should be stuck as a group to make healing easier and just finish the boss. When you are done, you can choose to go right side or left side. We went left side cause we are used to it. On this pool make sure to kick the shock troopers elemental focus cast and you should dispel poison debuff if you can. Keep pulling until the next room, be sure not to make the mobs evade like we did, gather all of them and DPS them down. Try not to get a lot of melee attacks from the frogs cause the poison can hurt you. On this pool, it's very important to make sure you take one shock trooper each and interrupt his cast. When they all gathered, you can use Nox to stop more than one cast. Pay attention to the flame color Cauterize cast, you must interrupt it. On the frog boss, when he casts overpowering croak, Try to move as a group to the other side to make head management a lot easier. You should slow the heads so the boss can eat them and same as always use defensive as needed. After you finish the boss comes the tricky part of this dungeon. There is a few ways to pass this gauntlet but no matter which one you choose make sure you do it properly otherwise the key is over. We made sure the patrol is far from the dragon and someone with invis pulled it and we pass. I beg you, do it faster than me please and don't get hit by the AOE. When you make it, you should pull the next two packs. Use defensive on the dragon AOE and must dispel the dot if you can. Try to stop ice caller ice shard cast and interrupt refreshing type. The next part of the skip is easier. Just jump on both rocks and pass this pack. Now this boss is really healing intensive, especially with Tyrannical, so you probably heard it somewhere but use your defensives. Make sure to bait the Cyclones in a way you don't eat the Frozen Cones. And as a tank, try to move the boss to melee range when the group is hiding. It pretty much rinse and repeat so no need to see the whole fight. You get the point, let's keep going. By now you already know the mob's mechanics, so just use defensive on the dragon AoE and don't get hit by the waves. On 20% remaining health, the Aqua Rager mobs cast Tidal Divergence. You must stop every cast with knocks or interrupts to prevent the mobs from splitting into 4 smaller mobs. The last mob of this part is the mini boss. The inundate cast, it's like a truck so try to be at full health before the next one. Make sure to interrupt the barrier cast and be aware not to take damage from the flood cast and get knocked. The last boss is pretty long so make sure you have enough time depending on your key level. 
Every boss phase plus intermission is about 2 minutes. Use defensive on Tempest Fury and move from pools on the ground. At full energy bar you have to do intermission. You can be a bit slower to make sure you don't get hit by the pools and waves. When you pass it, interrupt the infuser mobs and make sure you stop every inundate cast with Nox. When you finish intermission, you start phase 1 all over again. This time the Tempest Fury cast hits harder so it's important to use defensives. And this is all guys. Thank you for watching. Please give a like and subscribe to my channel to see more of these kinds of guides. Peace.